Which profession is better, dentists or doctors? Let's talk about that. There is one question that almost every single pre-professional student asks themselves in their undergrad, and that question is, should I be a doctor or should I be something else? So in this video, we're going to have a side-by-side -side comparison of doctors uh, or physicians, meaning an MD or a DO, versus a dentist, which would be a DMD or a DDS. Hopefully this will help to answer some questions about what are some of the pros and cons to each, because I'll tell you right now, there are pros and cons to both of them. Um, so let's go ahead and just get started, okay? Number one, let's talk about debt. How much in student loans are taken out to be a doctor versus being a dentist? Based off of the most recent statistics here, the average medical school debt is $166,750. The average dental school debt is $200,111. So a little bit higher for dentists. The highest medical school tuition in the country is currently set at $57,261 per year. The highest dental school tuition right now is $73,645. So once again, higher tuition rates for dental school as opposed to medical school. Moving on to salary. So once you have all that debt, you gotta pay it off. So how much is the median family physician salary? Right now, based off of payscale.com, it is looking at $167,354 for a median salaried uh, family physician. Now for a dentist, the median salary, according to Payscale, is $124,310. So a little bit lower than what you're going to be making as a physician. Long story short, med school on average is going to have a smaller student loan than dental school and it's going to have higher median pay than dentists. Let's keep going here though. Let's talk about average amount of hours that are worked in a work week. For a physician, the average doctor works about 59.6 hours in a week, whereas the average dentist works about 35 to 40 hours in a week. The next comparison would be respect level, okay? Uh, doctors versus dentists, if you are a primary care physician, you tend to be very well respected by the general public. If you say that you're an MD, people say, whoa, you're a doctor, you know, like you're some sort of, I don't know, superhero or something. Whereas a dentist, they are respected by the public. They do hold a doctorate degree. People call them doctor, but uh, in my opinion, they're not as respected to the degree of a physician. Every health professional has their own level of expertise, but when the general public thinks about a health professional, typically MDs and DOs are right at the top of the chain. So if that's your thing, maybe being a doctor is better than being a dentist. So next thing, how likable are you in your profession? Not very many people like going to the doctor because going to the doctor means you are sick and no one likes to be sick. Now as a dentist, people really don't like to go to the dentist. If you like to go to the dentist like me, you're weird. So that's pretty much that. Kind of a tie there, really. Okay, now let's talk about the time that it actually takes to become a doctor versus the time that it takes to become a dentist. This is really fascinating. To become a doctor or to become a physician, you have to have four years of undergraduate studies. You have to go through four years of medical school, and then there is a three-year minimum for a residency program that you have to go through. So 11 years total to become a physician. To become a dentist, it is a minimum of eight years because you have four years of undergrad studies and then you have four years of dental school. After that, it's kind of uh, elective. So if you want to do a GPR, you can, you can go into a general practice residency and learn how to do other uh, things in dentistry. Or if you want to become a specialist, there are also other residencies, but you don't have to do that. You can just go right into general practice as a dentist. And last thing that's on my list here is the specialties or the opportunities that are out there for a doctor versus those that are out there for a dentist. If you want to go to medical school, there are several specialties that you can actually go into after medical school. Literally over a hundred specialties that I could count 
and uh, the list just keeps on going. So lots of things that you can do as a doctor. It's not limited to just one thing. Whereas if you want to go into dentistry, you're kind of limited on what you're gonna be doing in your career. If you decide that you don't wanna go into some sort of a specialty and you wanna just go right into making money, uh, paying off those student loans, pretty much what your job is going to entail is fillings, crowns, root canals, extractions, you know, basic dental stuff, you know, which is what a dentist does. Whereas if you're a doctor, you could work in family medicine, you could work in OB and deliver babies, you could do uh, surgery, you could do cardiology, you could do radiology. All of these things are branched off of uh, of becoming an MD or a DO. The last thing that I wanted to say is if you're an undergrad student and you're trying to figure out what you want to actually go into, should you go into medical school? Should you go into dental school? The one question that you should ask yourself is at the end of the day, what is going to make you happy for the rest of your life? What do you want to do for the rest of your life? That is my two cents on the topic. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions that you want to have discussed in this channel. I will look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. You guys are awesome. Keep living the dream.